Are you ready to create an AI assistant for sales? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create your own AI sales assistant. They'll make your sales process hopefully a little bit easier. And of course, as a bonus, make it easier for you to start delegating and training your other sales actual agents in your business with an AI assistant. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more custom, I do offer AI consulting. You just click on the link below. But essentially, to get started, we're just going to be using ChatGPT. If later on in my videos, I might start doing more on the tools, but there's just so many going up right now that it doesn't make sense for me to do that other than ChatGPT because hopefully once you learn the basics of how to do it with ChatGPT, it's going to be easier for you to transfer those methods basically into the other tools that you might be using for sales later on. So if you've never seen ChatGPT before, this is essentially what is a clean thread. It's clean, doesn't have anything yet. And what I recommend is anytime that you're using ChatGPT is you use the woe method as your first chat to it. So what the woe method basically is, is letting ChatGPT know who you are, what you do, that's the W, the outcome that you need from it, asking it, are you ready? And then the H is the how basically of all of it. So um, on here, let me just put in that specially. So in this video, we're going to go through the five kind of AI assistants you can create. The first one being a sales consultant. The second one is essentially your client checker. We'll call it that. The third one is essentially your email writer. Fourth one is your responder. And the fifth one is your offer slash proposal writer. So here on ChatGPT, I went ahead and said, I am an AI consultant for coaches and consultants for their operations and marketing and implementing AI in their business. I need you to specialize in being a sales consultant. That's the first AI assistant we'll create with a focus on working with consultants. Are you ready? I need your responses to be straight to the point and with action steps if applicable. So on here, just hit enter. It's now gonna say, you know, memory updated if you guys are using ChatGPT4. And it's just like, hey, you know, what ready, what's next steps do you need? I don't have a sales funnel yet, but my product, so what the end goal is, is a 90 minute strategy session and a ongoing monthly support on how they can add value to their business. So that's essentially kind of the, um, you know, I, this is, what I need help with. So the cool thing with your AI consultant is anytime that you're stuck, anytime that you need a little bit of help, then you can go ahead and ask questions here because the more context, the more information that you give it about yourself and your business, the better and better its responses are going to be. And again, if you're stuck, if you're trying to create your process, if you've been doing it on the fly by yourself, it's going to make it easier for you to have a good back and forth with your assistant basically on here. Now, if you guys did hop on in that 90 minute strategy session with me, then we can make this more customized actually working with your business with your funnel with what is currently working for you and having just AI kind of make that a little bit better so that is essentially your sales consultant assistant AI now we're going to ahead and create essentially your client checker assistant so what that is it's basically your assistant to make sure that a client is a match based on who you said your client persona is so here let's go ahead and paste that in uh, I need you to specialize in being a sales assistant and help create an ideal client persona and qualify potential clients. Are you ready? So I'm just asking it that straight on. Now, the cool thing, if you've never seen this before on ChatGPT is it'll start giving you like potential, you know, what it could have asked you. Um, and then I want the shorter one. And once you're clear, I said, would you like to to any of these um, steps? So here, what questions do you want to ask me? to make this better for you. So now it'll, of course, ask questions based on the ones um, that are above, you know, your target market, plain points and challenges, blah, blah, blah. And you can make that as specific as you need to. Or if you have no idea, you can ask ChatGPT to generate that for you as well. Now, the goal for this is essentially anytime that you have a potential client coming in is you can just go ahead and ask ChatGPT like, hey, these are the details that they filled out on a form or a qualifier or if they hopped on a mini qualifying call with you, do you think that they're qualified? So you're just going to grab all of that information, put it to ChatGPT and it's going to give you the answer of like, hey, you know, this person might not be a match for you or this person is a perfect match for your ideal client persona. This is also the different ways that you can work with them. So this essentially becomes kind of your way to, before you hop on a call with someone, because they've already filled that form, again, did a qualifying call maybe with someone else, is that you have the clarity to move 
forward. Now, the next AI assistant that we'll go ahead and create for your sales is essentially your lead gen email writer. So anytime that you are start starting to do cold outreach to start emailing people or even just using LinkedIn for it, you can use this. So let's see with that one, we'll create a LinkedIn, specialize in writing, LinkedIn outreach messages that get responses. So this is essentially anytime that you are, again, doing cold outreach, doing a campaign, you can now use this as your writer for those first couple of messages that you wanna send out to someone. Now, the goal for this is that it can be customized based on the person you wanna reach out to. So here, you know, here, three ways. So it already wrote out a quick little uh, message for us. Make this more ideal to LinkedIn. What should be the first connection message so as you are now starting to prospect on linkedin you're trying to figure out what actually works so as an egg blah 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 so i still don't like it but the cool thing is you can use other people's work um, as its reference so rephrase this based on best practices from alex berman so alex berman is someone i do like to follow when it comes to writing these kinds of emails so there you go Came across the profile, was impressed with your work in the industry or area as an AS consultant. Um, make this shorter and focused on their business. So this one I kind of would be more okay with. You might want to get examples of the ones that you like. Um, for me, honestly, I would just go into the best copy that I've seen when it comes to these kinds of emails. I'll put it into ChatGPT and I'll say, write this kind of email but I don't want to dive into that too much, but you guys, you guys can see the idea of it. So one of the things that you can do is you can go into someone's profile on LinkedIn. So before you connect with them, you go into their profile and you're going to go ahead and grab their information. So then ChatGPT can make a customized response or email to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to grab the person's about. So this is basically just my profile. Um, I am messaging this person, customize the message for them. So now because I do have this person's bio, I can now have ChatGPT essentially just create a very customized first message to this person based on the email template that I wanted it to use. So that's kind of the cool thing and you can do this over and over. You can teach your other people in your company to be able to do this. And that is essentially your first email writer, ChatGPT. That's basically your first email lead gen writer um, with ChatGPT. So the next thing is, of course, once you start getting people in, then they will start you know, responding to you. So you can also say, do the same thing of using ChatGPT to create that responder. So basically what you'll do is you grab the parameters, you'll grab your offer, your services, what it is that you do, and you put it into ChatGPT. It's gonna be a longer video if I do that, but this is essentially what you would want to do. You would follow those steps on creating your responder to lead gen emails. Now, this is especially helpful if you have people you have employees who where their where English is not their first language and this is one of the ways that they could just respond to people in perfect English in really good English based off already of your offer and your services now the last kind of AI assistant you can create for your sales is essentially your proposal slash offer writer and you would do the same you basically create your own AI assistant for it you would give it the information about your business what it is that you do probably your whole offer page or or the presentation that you would send to someone and give it a format of what you want the proposal to look like or the offer to look like this makes it easier for you to streamline what your proposals and your offer looks like so if you want to delegate this to your own executive assistant you definitely can and it just makes it a little bit easier for your client as well to understand what it is you're doing because it's formatted in a way that's easily readable now if you guys like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what kind of AI assistance or outputs or tasks you have in your business that you would love to automate i would love to know and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here hope you guys have an amazing day remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye